This is Mika and her hair is naturally wavy, but it's slightly curlier underneath. And on the surface there, you can see that it tends to get a little bit frizzy. So I'm starting with Pureology's Color Fanatic, which is a 21 benefit spray. It's excellent as a cutting lotion. It's gonna smooth down the cuticle. It's gonna detangle the hair. It's gonna protect it from the heat and a whole bunch of other good things. So here's the sectioning. We started by putting the recession area line in here, and then if we look at it from the sides, it comes down to a point. We made a triangle coming down to a point just at the back of the ear, and then in the center back, we created another point. Separated the hair here at the occipital bone, straight across horizontally, and then you can see the triangle that's on the other side. So basically, we almost have a star going all the way around with two points here, a point in the back, and then our front area here. So we're gonna use vertical sections here in the nape, and we're gonna create a perimeter that is zigzagged, but it's gonna be very, very soft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the section and just start taking weight out first and working my way towards the length that I want to create. So we're going to have that sit in right about here. A general rule of thumb is that hair is going to shrink about a half an inch once it dries, but the curlier the hair is, the more it's going to shrink. So we just want to look at that wave pattern, see how much that's going to lift this up as we go. So I'm just going in with vertical sections. I'm going to end up creating them all at the same length here, but what's going to happen because of how we're cutting it, going into the section this way, we're getting a lot of different lengths on the bottom. So we'll have shorter and longer, but they're following a horizontal theme. So when you're working in this area here, you have less density in this last section. So if you want to maintain some of that weight, just keep your layers or your different lengths starting lower on the section as opposed to high up in here. So now in the midsection, I'm still going to work vertically and I'm starting right in the center. It's about a half an inch to an inch parting depending on the density of the hair. And then I'm going to comb her hair straight out. And what I'm going to do is work from a shorter length to a longer length. Now this whole area is going to drop over what we're doing, the layers that we're doing there. So what we're doing here is making the shape narrower. So my shortest length is going to be about four inches and I'm going to work down the section and then match it to my length. And here and there I'm going to go a little bit longer than the perimeter so we really start to get that, that variation going on again. Now what I'm going to do is work from the, the length, the existing perimeter, and we're going to work out to a longer length that's about an inch longer. So now we're working shorter and longer again, but we're going to get even more of a variation going on through the bottom. So on one side, you're working from short to long this way. On the other section, you're working from short to long this way. So we're just going to alternate back and forth as we go. So each time I'm working, I'm leaving that previous section alone. I'm leaving it behind and starting with a new section. We don't want to keep cutting the previous section because then we'll cut that longer layer off that we just left. So this last section behind the ear, by staying low and keeping your shears out towards the perimeter, you're going to maintain density there. So that's what we wanted to do. And if you look at the back here, you can see that we've got a nice uneven line going on on purpose. So through the side, she, she doesn't have as much density here as she does in the back either, and some people don't. So we're going to leave this just coming straight down. You can see she has a little more curl in there too, right around her face. So we're going to bring that down, and I'm going to angle slightly longer towards the very, very front, just a little bit. So that way it splits nice on the shoulder. 
but you get this sort of spilling down a little bit lower. Now I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So even though it's uneven on the bottom, we still want to check and make sure that we're balanced with our length. So feeling it, and it's more of a feeling than it is um, a visual, everything has to connect. And if you're someone who likes to blend everything, um, you gotta resist that, that calling and just go ahead and feel it to get your length. Now to cut the top, what we wanna do is make sure that our layers are even with the perimeter, especially in the back. And even though the perimeter is uneven, we want to pick one of the longest pieces there and we're going to take our triangle section and bring it down to there as our guide. So I've taken a vertical section down the center of that top subsection and I'm going to take the, the top of that length that we just cut in the back triangle I'm only going to take a little bit of this at a time. I'm going to comb the hair straight up. There's our guide, our length guide. And what I'm going to do is slide past that length guide and it just fell away. I'm going to go in and then I'm going to close where the guide was. Go in, work my way up with the blades and close on the guide. Work my way up and close. So we're cutting a line that moves straight across this way, but it's uneven and we're cutting our texture and our length at the same time. Now I'm just going to go ahead and connect the front end to that. Slide past, so where the shears close is on the guide. Going in about four inches from the guide and then close. If so through the rest of this section now we've got our center guide. I'm going to take vertical sections of whatever is there. So in this case it's going to come down lower, then it goes back up, but our sections are going to run parallel like this all the way through the side. We're going to bring them straight up and blend it to the guide. So up until this point we've used a traveling guide. We haven't over directed the hair at all. Now at this point I'm going to over direct the front back slightly so that it gets a little bit longer and we have a little bit more around the face to play with. Now what I'm going to do is just take the hair that's falling over because it will be you can literally see it right there. I'm going to go ahead and go in and just work to the existing perimeter that we cut underneath. In the front, I've taken a triangle section from the high point to the recession area. And what I'm going to do is we want to keep the layers really long here in the front. We're just going to take them a little bit shorter in the center so that it rounds out a little bit. A little bit shorter in the center, keeping that there. So I'm going to go about an inch shorter and then work out to the length from there. Inch there, take that piece over and work out to my length. So it's just a little tiny concave line. And all that's going to do when we comb it back is it's just going to fall a little bit higher just in here on her sides without it looking like a choppy layer. So here's Mika finished. What we did to finish her hair was we used the Style Plus Care Infusions from Pureology in the Smooth Perfection System. And what that does is it just tames down the frizz. We twisted it, diffused it, and then we just put a few curls on the surface with the iron. So here she is, all finished.